Hi, I'm Jordan. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kiddos, a four-year-old and a one-year-old, and we are a homeschool family. Today, I'm going to be doing a plan with me, but before we get into it, please take a moment to like and subscribe. My four-year-old is doing work um, that is traditionally done for kindergarten, um, and so we plan ahead for our homeschool and our school nest planner. I can link my video showing what that planner looks like down below. But let's go ahead and take a look and plan out what we're gonna be doing for homeschool next week. I'm gonna go ahead and start this off by writing out my days of the week. And then right here, I'm going to write extras. And I'll go over what goes here in just a second. Then on this side is where I'm going to put my subjects. Now, this is going to change from the last time I did a plan with me video um, because I'm going to be adding in a section for writing. So I'll start with reading still, but then I'm going to put writing right after it. And then math, history, science, and then here I'm going to keep this as the two boxes here for our unit study, which is all about bugs. Right off the bat, I know nothing is gonna get put in for Monday. So this is currently going to be my plan for next week, which is um, the first week of January and Monday is New Year's Day. So we're not gonna do any school on New Year's Day, but at this point we've had off since a little bit before the Christmas holiday and I can just tell my kids are starting to get antsy. They really wanna get back into our routine or at least they would really benefit from getting back into our routine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next week, but we are still not gonna have any um, homeschool plans for Monday. But I am gonna plan for Tuesday through Friday. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look back at the previous week. You can see my daughter had a fun time with the crayons. Um, and I can see that we got all the way through um, half of Treasure Hunt reading 11, lesson 11. So I'm going to put that next. So I'm just going to put uh, THR for Treasure Hunt reading, and I'm going to say 11 for the second half of that lesson. And these early lessons in Journey 1 are all about reinforcing letter sounds and what they look like. And it's enough work there that I have been splitting it up into double lessons. So I'm going to say treasure hunt reading 12 for Wednesday and treasure hunt reading 12 for Thursday. And then we'll start treasure hunt reading 13 on Friday. Then to reinforce our reading instruction, we have been using the game, uh, the app Duolingo ABC. And we're gonna do that each day for about 10 minutes. Then for our writing instruction, as of right now, I'm just going to put down one thing that we are going to do for writing. That may change as we move forward, but we are gonna continue the rotation that we had of uh, certain writing supplements that we had going on. So um, I would say we are going to be using our handwriting curriculum, which is handwriting without tears. We're going to be using our Evan Moore skill sharpeners for grammar and punctuation, and we'll be using the Core Knowledge Language Arts um, units, which are, are about phonics and also about handwriting. And then I'm gonna repeat that loop, so we'll do handwriting again on Friday. Looking at math, I'm gonna go back to the previous week, and we finished lesson 23, so that means we're on lesson 24. Um, which means we're gonna start with the video lesson. And then it has sheets A through G. I'm gonna tentatively schedule that we're gonna do two things each day. Generally, these worksheets tend to be on the shorter side. However, if we get into it and I see that my son is struggling to keep his attention <laughs> going for a very long time, if there's more on the pages than I anticipated, then I will only cross off the things that we have done that day in the highlighted color from above. 
Um, I always highlight these each in a different color so that I know what we got done on which day and it helps me keep a record. History, we're gonna try something different. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that we use core knowledge, uh, history and geography, but we are going to start Story of the World um, and then we will get back into our core knowledge. However, um, it's just the sale. <laughs> They're not selling things right now. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and see what this would look like. Um, in a previous day in the life video I showed when we got these videos, these were given to us for free from a, um, another homeschool family that was moving out of the country. So we got very lucky <laughs> in that we got this. Additionally, that family gave us the activity book to go with it. So I'm just checking to see what all would go with the introduction. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plan for some of these books. Even though I don't have them yet, my plan is to get them from the library for when we um, do these lessons. And hopefully I am able to do that. But I'm gonna use a mix of reading from this book and some readings that are suggested in here. So for the first day, I chose just this first part of the introduction, just looking at how much reading there is here. There's no pictures. I think this is gonna be more than enough for one day's worth of reading and history. And then um, the next day, I'll do this next section from the introduction, that is what is archeology. span um, I put this little abbreviation here to remind me of where these readings are coming from. This, those are coming from the actual text. Then looking here, I see that we have some encyclopedia cross-references that I can look at, um, as well as some review questions that I can talk through my son with, and then additional history reading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in the additional history readings in um, these next two days. So for Thursday, I'll do these two books here. This one barely fit in, but then I also put in for Friday two more of the additional history reading books, The Magic School Bus Show and Tell, a book about archeology, span and I can be an archeologist. So hopefully I'm able to get all of those books from the library. If not, I may have to adjust my plan, but that's kind of par for the course. The next thing I'm gonna look at is science. Now, normally I would take a look at this on my computer. I wouldn't print this out. But for the sake of this video, I printed out the page that I'm going to need. This is Blossom and Roots Level Zero, which is all about space and space exploration. Um, and right now, we are all learning all about Earth in week 16. We have already started some of this before we went on our Christmas break, and now we're gonna get back into it. We read all of the optional supplemental books already and we read a couple of different spines. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in where we are at. We've already done this DK find out. We read from both of our um, larger spines, the DK Smithsonian Space and DK Smithsonian Superspace Encyclopedia. We read from the Space for Kids Who Really Love Space. And we read from both of the Professor Astrocat. So really what we have left is from what we see in the stars and mysteries of the universe. So for science, I'm gonna put down on Tuesday, one of those. And I'll put the other one down on Wednesday to kind of spread those out. And then on each of those days, we'll also watch a video. So we'll watch the free school video on Earth on Tuesday, and then we'll do the kids learning tube Planet Earth song on Wednesday. Then on Thursday, we will watch the SciShow kids video. Where did Earth come from? And then we're gonna use this suggestion here about making it out of clay. In this case, we'll use Play-Doh to make the earth. And then on Friday, 
we will visit this optional website. And then we have this like little paper solar system that we've been adding to. <laughs> and each time we finish up a planet, we cut out that planet and we glue it on. So we'll add then to our solar system. This is gonna hit all of our core subjects. Um, it seems like it's in a weird order, but I have my unit study at the bottom. We actually use this as our morning basket. And this is gonna be our first day back to our bug basket and my son is super excited. You would think that a kid would want to spend all of their time on fun Christmassy things, but no, he has actually been looking forward to returning to bugs because this has been his um, special interest at the moment. <laughs> With our morning basket in this unit study, I have been trying to read at least three things each day. Um, something from a reference book, something from a picture book, and a chapter book that we have been reading. I have rechecked out all of the Battle Bug books, um, and my son is super excited to continue on with that journey. Um, and I've also gotten um, from the library, they're ready to be picked up, several books um, to do with our other bug pieces. So let's go ahead and plan out what we're gonna do. So currently, we are about to start in on house flies. So I'm just going to check my table of contents and see if there's anything in here that looks like it would go with house flies. Okay, let me check page 56. Okay. This is, I mean, I guess it's more than just house flies. It's flies in general, so we have a winner here. So we have at least three things that we're gonna get from this book and that is plenty for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. So this is my super bug book. And I'm just gonna then list out the pages so that I already know what I am looking at. So we have page 56, 78, 108, and 140. So that'll be good. We'll learn about four flies. And then I'm gonna go, not just everything for this day, I'm gonna go across the board. So the next book I will look in that's one of our spines is The Big Book of Bugs from DK. And we do have on page 22 a section on flies. So I will write that for Wednesday. The next one I will look at is the Magnificent Book of Insects and Spiders. And again, I'm just looking through my table of contents to see, does anything stand out to me that it could be a fly? So page 60, I'll add this one here. And then the final reference book, I'm actually gonna go to where we got this unit study from. This is the mini beast unit from the Waldock Way. This is where we got this study from. And so this also had included in it different articles that you could use. Um, and I went ahead and printed everything out just because I do read from it when we get to each one. So you can see this was the supplemental book list. These are the books that I already have on hold from the library or as many as I can. They have a YouTube playlist to go with it. There's a hands-on activity here um, as well. And then there are other things that they have, which I can show you in just a second. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and write down that we're gonna read this text here, which comes with discussion questions about flies. Next, I'm gonna write down which book we're gonna read each day from the supplemental book list. We have, there was an old lady who swallowed a fly. We have a different book called, there was an old lady who swallowed a bat that we got for our Halloween basket. And my son, every time we read it, was like, do you remember there's that other book <laughs> about the lady who swallows a fly? Um, and he brings it up all the time because our version for some reason was missing pages. And so I don't think he's ever actually heard the real story. So I'm glad that I'm checking this out from the library so we can 
tell him the whole thing and he can maybe stop being so curious about it or maybe not maybe it'll just spark more you never know with him um and then we also got the just the first three books in a series called fly guy so i know that this is technically also a book series but it's i think a comic book series and so i'm gonna just write fly guy for each of the days here and we will see how that goes then i'm gonna go ahead and write down the novel that we are reading we are going to be reading the battle bugs my son loves this series and so generally what i will do is i will pick out two activities each morning for him to do that has to do with what we're working on um and then i will start with um our encyclopedia reading or our spine reading our supplemental book list and then i'll read from our novel and i will continue reading in the novel until he has finished the activities and so how much we read really just varies on how long it's taking him to do the activities um when he feels like he is just ready to stop so um so this will vary so i don't put a chapter amount here because i just say this is what we're reading and if we finish the one book in the battle book series we're ready to then just move on to the next so now i'm going to put down the two activities for each of these and for that i'm going to go ahead and look here these are some other things that came in this unit study there's color by numbers and i've been trying to align them with the different um types of bugs. So I think this is supposed to be the fly. So I'm going to say on the first day, we'll do a color by number. Um, they have these coloring sheets. What we like to do with the coloring sheets, since he's already using um, the uh, colored pencils <laughs> to color in uh, the color by number, we like to give him watercolors and he just watercolors on top of this. So we're going to watercolor a fly. It also came with these um, pattern block patterns. Now he won't just do one of these. He'll, he likes to go through and do the whole thing. Um, but we kind of have it on a rotation and he hasn't seen these in a minute. So I will add that in here. And then we have also been slowly but surely working through different activity books. I'm probably going to actually put this down as the thing that we do every single day. Um, so really, I just need one more unique thing to do on Friday. Um, and then we will have two activities for each day. So um, let me think. Hmm. I'm going to write here Pinterest craft and I'm going to have to go ahead and look this up. They have um, links to also a set of different crafts that you can do um, that have to do with um, the different bugs and other mini beasts that you study in the unit. So um, that'll be what we do on Friday. And then I'm going to say that we're going to do our sticker book each day as our second activity. Finally, I'm gonna write down game under each day. We might not get to it, but we have several different games that are age appropriate that um, have to do with bugs. And so I will give him the option each day after we have finished up all the other things if he would like to play a bug game with me. Now, I am sure you heard me say that over here we have extras and this has been blank this whole time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in <laughs> to this column my extras, quote unquote. And so what this is gonna be is gonna be any additional reading that we have and then what I used to refer to as our loops, but they are essentially like our electives. Most of them are activity books. In fact, I think all of them are activity books. And so I'm just gonna put over here what I'm hoping we can get to, um, but if we don't get to these things, it's not the end of the world. So the first thing I'm going to do is we have just 
recently, um, for Christmas, my son got the Heartwood Hotel series. And so I am hoping that we can um, start incorporating that. So I'm going to write that down here. And because I check things off, I'm actually gonna write out chapters one through four. We also use core knowledge domains as a way to um, enhance my son's background knowledge. We are currently in domain six, all about Native Americans. And so I'm going to write down the different stories from this, one for each of the days. So the next four that we have. Okay, so there were only three additional um, texts within this domain. And so I'm going to pull now one of my supplemental books that they suggested that have to do with Native Americans for the fourth day. And I'm gonna pull this one, D is for drum. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to list out the different um like elective kind of things that we have to do. Um, and I'm going to try to have two things for each day unless there is an activity that we are doing um, in history or science. So it looks like history is just gonna be reading for this week, but I do see that on Thursday I have, like we're making something out of Play-Doh. On Friday, we're gonna be cutting and gluing with our paper. So on these two days, I just need one listed. But so starting here for two things, I'm gonna write down health and geography. Then on the next day, I'm gonna write two more. So I'll write down critical thinking and I'm gonna write down coding. Then for Thursday, because I only have one thing, I'll write time. And then for Friday, because I only have th one thing, I'll write down money. And this is everything. The only thing I have left to do is to highlight the top, which I use my mild liner markers for. And I always do things in rainbow order. And yes, I'm highlighting Monday, even though I know nothing is gonna get done on Monday, but that's because I have to see it highlighted. <laughs> Here we go. And so I know I mentioned this earlier, but just so that in case it makes more sense now that you can see it, what I will do is as I complete things on Tuesday, I will highlight those things in yellow. And if we don't get it done on Tuesday, it won't get highlighted. So then the next day, Anything that we do on Wednesday, I'll highlight in green, even if it's not written in the Wednesday spot. So like if I don't finish everything on Tuesday that I need to do, I might do that thing on Wednesday and then I would cross it off in green so that I know, oh, this actually happened on Wednesday and not on Tuesday. And that helps me just keep track of where we're um, slowing down throughout the week. Like normally I can see like, ah, you know, by the time we get to Friday, we aren't getting as much done. And then on the flip side, I can look back and say, oh, like maybe I need to readjust on this day of the week because we aren't getting as much done as I had hoped we would be getting done consistently or um, whatever it might be. But it's, it's that way it's for my records. I can see what got done. And it's also, it's no stress. If it doesn't get done, then I just highlight it on a different day or I push it to the next week. It's not super big deal. But this is my plan for next week for homeschool. This was a little bit of a different plan with me since I have never really looked into story of the world other than to see that um, it's something that we want to give a try. Um, so this will be um, totally new for us. And of course, we're going back into the swing of things for a unit study that we haven't done in a minute. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.